Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to use the BetonQuest editor. This is a helpful new tool for making Minecraft NPCs. To begin with, we're going File, Set, New Set, and we can give it a name. And now we are going New Package within that set. Package name. I'm going to get you guys to use your names for your package name. So, from the main screen, I am switching to the conversation screen and I am adding a conversation. The conversation I will add will be Woodsman. Okay, now I need to give the converse, the NPC a name. Um, Eric the Woodsman. And you can see right here, there's a list of NPC options. So far, there's just one titled Start, and it is highlighted red because there is no text here. So I'm clicking in the NPC options Start, and I will write his text. Hello there, what brings you to this neck of the woods? Now I'm going to add a pointer to something saying lost. Okay, now we've created a player option called lost. It has no text. So we're going to put in the text. Okay. So his text is going to be, I'm lost. Now I'm going to go back to the start, and I'm going to add a second option. This one is visiting you. Okay. So player option, instead of saying that they're lost, they could say, I came to visit you. We're going to set a condition for this. This option will only be available if you've already met the woodsman. And we'll know that because you'll have a tag called Met Woodsman. Okay, so that's what I'm putting in for the condition. Now we need to have a way of meeting the woodsman to begin with. So we will add, we'll have, if the person says they're lost, We will add an NPC option saying, well, I'm glad you stumbled onto my campsite. It's many, mighty lonely out here. And this is where we'll have an event, Met Woodsman. And we add that event. We need to define it. And we'll define it as tag add met woodsman. So our conversation goes from start. Hello, what brings you to this neck of the woods? If the person has already met the woodsman, he'll have that tag and can say he's visiting. Otherwise, he'll have to say he's lost. The woodsman will say it's nice to meet you and tag him so that next time he can say he came to visit. Now that's all I'm going to put in here for this moment because I want to show you a couple of other things. Along the side here we have the different menus. We've got the main one. We've got the events, conditions, objectives. Here you can see we've got the events list and the conditions list. Now this list of events and conditions and objectives will be a list for all characters within this package. So if we add a second NPC, <coughs> excuse me, his events and conditions will be listed here too, and he can refer to the other ones. Now, if I had another conversation option, I'm just going to add one more. Let's see, what can we use? Visiting you. We'll go looking for rabbits. Okay, so here, 
if we wanted to add a condition, I've just started typing Metz Woodsman and it's volunteered that I can, I can um, use that already. So I don't have to type that all in again, but we're not gonna have that. We'll have rabbit hunting as just another option like lost. So there's the events and conditions lists. The objectives we have not discussed how to do in class. You can read about that if you want. Here's item and journal entries. Um, again, we haven't discussed that in class and translations we won't worry about right now. So the main thing is just to use this conversations. Now up here we have NPC bindings. And what you need to do for this, your first binding is just the name of the NPC or the conversation name, put that in again. And your second binding will be the number. Um, it will be a three digit number of whatever your NPC's number is. And I can help you find that. We'll look at, for that on the server. So that is the very quick basics of how to use the Bed and Quest editor.